Greetings, my lovelies, and thank you for stopping by today. Yes, it is another summer edition of this channel because I just don't feel like dealing with green screen. Yay! Today is going to be a little bit different about the book reviews because it's not a book review, it's a manga review, and it's not just one manga, it's an entire series because I managed to finally get my hands on the gigantic box set of Demon Slayer and it is gorgeous and I've been hunting for it since it ever came out. It's big, it's beautiful, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to talk about the series as a whole. Unavoidable spoilers, there's nothing I can do about it, so if you have not finished it and do not want to be spoiled, please leave, get caught up, and then come back so we can all fangirl about it together. And if you don't care, like me, because I could care less about spoilers, they don't really spoil my enjoyment of what's going on, then stick around, because we're going to talk about Demon Slayer. Like if many people, I should say, or at least 50% of those who are, you know, enjoy Demon Slayer, I only found out about it through the anime. I love the first season. The second season was okay. The second season that was the movie. I mean, the fight scenes are on freaking point, don't get me wrong. But we just finished the Entertainment District art, and oh my god, that one was so, so good. Oh my fucking god. When I say that I was excited to finally get that just giant ass box set so I can just binge read up ahead of, it, of everything so I can know what's going on because I don't want to wait. I was so excited. <laughs> but before I ramble on further, you know, we gotta do my segments. So let's go ahead and just talk about the world and the premise of this entire series. I cannot for the life of me remember what period this sort of t starts off in. I know that it is in the time period of where there are a bit more technological advances like trains and electricity and guns and they're sort of shifting away from the time of the sword. However, in the more rural areas it is still very like, you know, old-fashioned. But in this world there are these monsters that are called demons. But they're not like demons in like the western sense, they're demons as in they are vampires. Which is very similar to another series that I read, uh, The Devil's Line, which actually is coming out with another, oh, another art line, and I'm so excited. Stop fangirling about one thing, stick to the one thing I'm talking about. So these demons feast on humans and then they gain like supernatural abilities. Their leader is called Muzon, who has been affectionately dubbed by the fandom as Michael Jackson because, well, they do look kind of similar in the aspect, and our, the main force to fight against the demons are called the Demon Hunter Corps, and they train using special swords that can kill a demon, and they train themselves to be as close to the demons as possible while maintaining their humanity. Our main character, Tanjiro, is a sweet, cinnamon roll of a human being and who has an unusually strong sense of smell and he basically sells charcoal up in the mountains he goes down one day gets stuck overnight and when he comes back to his family they've all been slaughtered save for his sister Nezuko so as Nezuko is partially alive he tries to carry her down the mountain but what we have found out is that Nezuko has ingested demon blood and becomes a demon. She starts to go after Tanjiro, but is stopped by Giyu, one of the demon slayers, Harsh Hashira, who are kind of like their top tier people. And so while Tanjiro is saying that Nezuko would never ever hurt anybody, Giyu ain't listening, but Nezuko actually proves him wrong and steps in to save her brother. And thus, everything gets sent on, Nezuko falls asleep, to rejuvenate for herself, and Gyu sends Tanjiro off to become a possible demon slayer. And that is it. So that's basically the exciting incident for the entire series. It all follows Tanjiro's journey. So let's kind of talk about some of the main player characters that kind of run throughout the entire series. Our main character is Tanjiro. Nezuko is kind of like his sidekick parallel onto it. She has a little bit of girth throughout the entire series as she, you know, slowly regains some of her humanity because she just has it all wiped out when she becomes a demon. However, she's mostly silent. She doesn't really talk. And when she does, it's like this little, uh, 
Oh, you know, it's like because she's got this muzzle thing on. What Tanjiro is trying to do is he is trying to find a way to turn his sister back into human. He ends up running into this other uh, demon lady who used to be part of Muzan's little clan, but she was able to break free because of circumstances, and she's working on, a, on developing a cure. So she tasks Kanjiro with getting blood from the 12 Kizuki, which are the upper rank demons. You have the lower rank, so the lower moons, and then you have the upper moons, and they carry a lot of Muzan's blood in them, so that is sort of like the one way that she can sort of retrofit the virus and develop a cure. After Tanjiro gets his sword and he goes off, he ends up running into Zenetsu, who is trained in the Star of Thunder Breathing, and honestly, I cannot stand him. He's annoying. He spends half his time screaming and crying, and is only a badass when he's asleep and he can't overthink. Now, I, I can understand that, you know, as someone who suffers from anxiety. However, like, ugh, shut the fuck up. My favorite character, however, is Inosuke, because he's just an absolute feral goblin. And he's also voiced by Bryce Prenbook, who I absolutely adore. But he is absolutely beautiful, but he runs around wearing a boar's head and these like dented up sores and he developed it on his own style of fighting called uh, beast breathing. And he's just pure chaos and I absolutely <laughs> love him. Along the way we meet a lot of the Hashira, we meet the flame Hashira, the sound Hashira, use the water Hashira, we kind of meet all of them kind of, you know, in the thing and as they go on. But yeah, those are kind of pretty much the main players outside of Muzan. There are literally way too many characters to talk about in their entirety, but those are kind of like the main players. It's those little three plus Nezuko and then go off and meet all these other people. Overall thoughts. As a whole, I absolutely love the series. There are a lot of like friends and family power-ups to coin Roshi, which is one of my favorite reviewer channels. However, you know, that is just typical for this sort of the shonen genre. My favorite arcs. I will have to say that my favorite arcs out of the entire series is definitely the Entertainment District arc. However, I will have to say, like, when it comes to, like, the manga, probably, like, the first intro dark to until he gets to, like, the... He has to fight the demons on the mountains for, like, seven days and survive. The last arc felt like it went on forever, fighting-wise. I kind of didn't care about some of the character deaths because, you know, don't really get to spend a lot of time with them. Although that might change with the show as these things get animated because I did not care for Usui the Sound Hashira at first, um, but did definitely kind of like him at towards the end after all the fighting. And no, I don't want to be a fourth wife of his, I just, he is an awesome badass character, let's just say that much. I was bawling by the end of it. My husband was laughing at me because I was crying. I told him to shut up. Because <laughs> I do this a lot. I will cry over books left and right. And I definitely want to get the author's um, last message when she says the final goodbyes. I want a poster of that on my wall because Oh my god, is it so sweet. It is such a sweet send-off. Like, I'm getting a little choked up thinking about it. Two thumbs way up. Thoroughly enjoy it. Will definitely reread it again. And I cannot wait and am terrified of the stuff that is about to be animated. We can all commiserate together. <laughs> if you've read Demon Slayer or if you have another manga series that you think I should check out, please uh, give me a comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are and your recommendations. If you want to see more things like this, be sure to give me a thumbs up, that lets me know that you like what I'm doing. Other than that, I will see you all next time. Bye!